Hi guys. People have been asking for a some instructions on how to get from Logic Pro, how to route audio from Logic Pro into Mixbus 3. I had some difficulty getting it running when I first started, so hopefully this will help you out a bit. I'm running a Logic Pro 10, the latest version as of November 2015th, and I'm running the last version of Yosemite and Mixbus 3, the latest version of Mixbus 3. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to jackaudio.org and download Jack 2. You're going to look for here for binaries. It's going to say Jack OS X for Snow Leopard here. That's what you want. The Snow Leopard version will run on Yosemite. I don't know about El Capitan. Your, your mileage may vary on that one. Once you have uh, it downloaded and installed, hopefully in your applications folder or somewhere on your drive, you will have a folder called Jack. And in the folder, there will be an application called Jack Pilot. Before we go any further, make sure you have Logic and Mixbus, Mixbus both closed because we're going to have to do things in this order. And you're going to want to do it in this order all the time. First, we're going to open Jack Pilot. It's on some other screen. Where is it? There it is. If Jack Pilot is running, if it says stop here instead of start, click stop. We need to change to preferences and we can only do that if it is not running. So we're going to go to Jack Pilot preferences first of all. As our driver, we're going to select core audio. I have a universal Apollo twin and I'm going to select that as my input device and I'm going to select that as my output device. I'm going to set my sample rate to 48K and my buffer size to 128, the same settings I would use in uh, Logic. Interface input channels and output channels, these are the physical inputs, the physical inputs and outputs you have into your workstation. I have a uh, Apollo Twin which has four inputs and it has four outputs. If you have uh, 8 or 12 or whatever number you want, you can put in there. Virtual input channels. Now that we're using Jack, Jack is the audio center of our universe. We have our Apollo Twin routed into Jack. Now we have to give it a way to get out of Jack into whatever digital workstation we want. So I'm going to have assigned four virtual input channels. These are going to give me four inputs into Logic to match the four uh, outputs from my physical interface. So when I go to Logic, I can select input one, input two, input three, or input four to match my Apollo Twin. The virtual output channels are what I'm going to need to route from Logic into Mixbus. I can set this number at whatever I want. These are mono channels, or they're mono channels. They can be turned to stereo, but the number is always going to be a mono number. So this is 32 mono, 16 stereo. I'm going to save that. Now we're done with uh, Jack Pilot preferences. We're going to start Jack Pilot. And again, do this in this order. Make sure Logic and Mixbus are closed. Now we're going to open Logic Pro. And in Logic Pro, I've created a template that has 32 mono tracks. And I'm going to open that. The tracks can be uh, audio tracks, MIDI tracks. They can be any tracks that you, uh, that you like. And we'll talk about stereo in a little while. So here I have Logic, 32 tracks. Here's my mixer. And you can see down here, each track is routed to a separate output. Each track is routed to a separate mono output. We're going to go to Preferences in uh, Logic, and we're going to select Jack Router as our output and our input device. 
It doesn't matter what else you're using, what your, what your hardware is, select jack router. I have the IO buffer set the same. Once we've done that, we're, we're good. I already have it. Apply the changes and you're good. So we are now done with logic for the time being. And let's open Mixbus. In Mixbus, I also have uh, created a template. that has 32 sequential mono inputs. Again, you can do whatever you want. Uh, when you're done, you can set up stereo, mono, 100 tracks, whatever you want to do. Let's get the uh, mix bus mixer up. There's mix bus three. I'm gonna get rid of these mix buses so we don't have to look at them. And we will make the tracks a little bit smaller. Come on. There we go. So here are my tracks in uh, Mixbus. They're all mono. You can tell that, uh, first of all, if you can just look at the phase uh, selection on and they're all mono. In Mixbus, again, we're going to want to make sure that uh, we have Jack Pilot selected and uh, using that as our audio center. So we're set with uh, Mixbus. We have uh, our tracks in Mixbus and we have our tracks in Logic. Now, how do we connect these things together? Here is the key. Jack Audio, we're having construction done on the house. That wasn't me. Jack Audio can route any audio from anywhere to anywhere. The thing we have going for us is that Mixbus has this milt, has it built in. So we're going to go to Window, Audio Connections, and this is going to give us a patch bay that will allow any connections we want between Logic Pro and Mixbus. Here you can see Logic Pro. I have four inputs for Logic Pro and capture one, two, three, and four under system here. See hardware over here on the left. These are the inputs of my, the physical inputs of my Apollo Twin that I can select, that I have selected here to go into Logic Pro. So if I'm in, if I'm over in, oops, other direction. If I'm in Logic, I can go and uh, select Apollo one, two, three, or four as my inputs to record with. I could do the same thing in Mixbus if I wanted, as we'll see in a little while. Down here under destinations, we're going to select mix buses. Make this window a little bit bigger. Actually, it'll, it'll auto size itself. On the left hand side, we're going to go to other. Now we see our patch bay with all of our inputs that we've created. Logic Pro, I've created 32 outputs. There they are on the left, vertically on the left. Mix Bus, I've created 32 tracks. Here they are uh, in different colors on the bottom. To connect them together, here is output one, selected to track one in, click it, a green dot appears, they're now connected. I can do this individually or I can do this all at once. I can select any number. Uh, I can I can route any number of outputs. I can route it any way that I want. I can select set track six and send track six to track eight as well if that's what I choose to do. Let's put that back again. And here are your other uh, other screens. You can route anything from Logic to anything in Mixbus and vice versa. So now let's check this back out again. I have Mixbus set. I have all my tracks in Logic connected to uh, my tracks in Mixbus. I'm going to select a loop in Logic and drag it over here. Let's put it on track five. 
Now, because Logic has stereo loops and I have mono tracks, it automatically turned track five down here, we'll see here, into a stereo track. And this gives us an opportunity to see how uh, we're going to work with stereo in this same setup. I'm going to get rid of track six that has output six so that we don't have it doubled up. So I don't have two output sixes coming from Logic. So now you can see it goes four, five, six, seven. I'll loop this, which will come in handy in just a minute. Back to mix bus. Here's track five. Track five is a mono track, but I have a stereo output in Logic. I'm going to right click here at the top of track five and open the routing grid. This is the same uh, patch bay that we were looking at, only this is for an individual track. Track five in here. You can see it highlighted in red. It's a mono track. I can turn this into a stereo track by right clicking, track five in, add audio port. Now I have a left and right side to this track. Now I go to other, track uh, output five of logic was already selected, but I'm gonna add the left side, or correction, the right side, output six, and now we're good to go. Go to Logic, sorry about that. Go to Logic, hit play. We have sound coming out of Logic. That delay was my monitors coming on, not the delay between the two programs. And here we have track five and six. You can see I have track six running here because I still have it routed in Mixbus. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Go here, deselect it. And now it's just coming into a stereo track there. All of this will work exactly the same way in main stage. Um, I think I've covered everything. I hope I've covered everything and I wish you good luck. It works great. I use Logic as a, uh, as a tape machine and I mix on Mixbus and it works beautifully. Highly recommended. Good luck.